Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the Faith Revival. So last time we talked about those moments that Allah sends you to wake you up, that catalyst that can result in a lifelong connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But think about that time where you're about to commit a sin. There's a very interesting ayah in the Qur'an. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهِ وَجِدَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Allah says, verily people of iman, those believers, those who have that belief are those who when Allah is mentioned or when Allah is remembered, then their hearts shake, their hearts tremble. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ And when the verses of Allah are recited upon them, then their faith is increased and they place their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is this verse talking about? Because are we always supposed to tremble when we hear the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or is this a very specific context? Mujahid rahimahullah ta'ala, the great uh, scholar of Qur'an, the way he interpreted this ayah, he said that what this is talking about is the believer just as he's about to commit a sin. What does he think about at that moment? فَيَتَذَكَّرْ مَقَامَهُ بَيْنَ يَدَيْ اللَّهِ He remembers his standing right in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So before he's about, right when he's about to commit the sin, he remembers his standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَيَتْرُكُهَا And so he leaves that, and out of fear he turns back to Allah and he says, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. He then seeks refuge in the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his faith is increased so he's in a better situation than he was before he thought of committing that sin. Allah mentions this also, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ إِذَا مَسَّهُمْ طَائِفٌ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ تَذَكَّرُوا That verily uh, those who have that piety, that consciousness of Allah, when a thought, a whisper from shaitan comes, تَذَكَّرُوا They immediately remember, فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبُصِرُونَ and Suddenly they have basira, they have sight, they're able to see clearly again. The important point that we take from this is not just that you remember Allah before, you're, before you commit a sin. When you're about to commit a sin, Prophet says, إِذَا ذُكِرْتُمْ بِاللَّهِ فَانْتَهُوا As soon as you remember Allah, stop. Don't think that I'm already in it, so I might as well continue and finish it, and then I'll repent afterwards. Because that happens a lot of times. We start it, we know it feels wrong, but you know what? I'm already halfway through my backbiting. Let me go ahead and finish my sentence. I'm already halfway through the sin. Let me go ahead and finish the sin and I'll be reminded of Allah afterwards. No, right away, when you think of Allah, stop, catch yourself. But secondly, what would make you tremble? Not the thought of people finding out, not the thought of, you know, of, of, uh, of humiliation, not any thought except for my standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is actually very practical, that when I'm about to commit a sin, immediately I should place myself in front of Allah on the day of judgment committing that sin. Would I have the audacity to stand in front of Allah on the day of judgment and while He is watching me commit that sin? What's the difference between then and now, right? Allah is watching us now as well. Can you imagine how shy we would be to commit that sin if we thought about Allah's sight upon us? So tadhakkaru. Immediately they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they place themselves in the standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ And for those who fear the standing before the Lord are, are two gardens in paradise. The most practical thing I can give you from this is something that comes from Imam al-Suddi rahimahullah ta'ala. He says that the believers will never stop sinning because as human beings we don't stop sinning. But they will stop their attitude towards sin. So we cannot stop sinning altogether because the children of Adam are sinners in their nature. But we can stop the way that we, or we can change the way we approach those sins. Meaning we feel a great shyness and a great humbleness before we commit that sin. When we think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our hearts tremble and we take ourselves to, ourselves to task. How could I think of putting my iman at risk? putting my connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at risk for the sake of that temporary fleeting pleasure. So the next time you're about to commit a sin, immediately think of standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and committing that sin in front of Him on the Day of Judgment. It will deter you inshaAllah and replace that sin. So you were about to commit a sin, go commit a good deed instead. Instead of committing that sin, I'm going to read Qur'an now. I'm gonna, just because I thought of that sin, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read Qur'an or I'm going to do something good 
to replace what would have been a moment of disobedience with a moment of obedience. And remember, Al-Iman yazidu bil ta'a wa yanqusu bil ma'asiyah. Faith increases with obedience and decreases with disobedience. May Allah increase our Iman and grant us full trust in Him. Allahumma ameen. See you next time, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.